we're going to learn about variables and data types. A variable is just a container that holds different type of information. We call those different types of information data types. Some of the more common data types you would see in programming languages out there are, for example, numbers, strings, and booleans. Fortunately for us, in Roblox Lua, we do not need to specify the data type when declaring a variable. So you can just declare a variable and assign to it any object of any data type, and it would be fine. In some other programming languages out there, the compiler would yell at you if you ever attempt to do something like that. Anyway, let's now take a look at how we declare a variable inside Roblox. To declare a variable, you're going to start with the keyword local, followed by the variable name. For example, my variable name is message. So now I have a variable named message inside my script. Without initializing my variable, my variable now contains a nil value. A nil value means it has no value assigned to the variable. And later in my script, I can go down here and I can assign a value to that variable. For example, message equals to hello. So now my variable message contains a string, the data type is a string and it is and the value of the string is hello. And this is how you change the value of the variable, the content of the variable, just by assigning a different value to the same variable. For example, world. So now my variable contains the value world, which is a string. Let's now look at a different example. So for example, I have a variable count and I'm initializing it to zero. Zero is a number. The data type of this variable now is a number. So my variable right now has a value of zero. It is not nil. If I just declare my variable without initializing it, the value is gonna be nil. But here I'm initializing my, vari my variable to zero, so it has a value of zero. Another data type you can have is a Boolean data type. So for example, here I have is raining equals to false, means it is not raining right now. And then later on, I can go down here. When it, when it is raining outside, I can change my variable to is raining equals to true. So this variable is raining has a Boolean data type. 